Hi guys, today our question is a 100 ohms resistor is connected in parallel with an inductive reactance. Inductive reactance in the sense it is XL. So here the connection is parallel connection. Parallel connection. Inductive reactance is 60 ohms. A voltage signal 40 volts is applied to the circuit shown below. Okay, determine the impedance Z and line current. Okay, see here a parallel RL circuit. Parallel RL combination is given. See, let us assume this is the current flowing through the circuit. And at this point, the current division is taking place. One current is IR and another current is, let us say, IL is flowing through the inductor. So, the inductive reactance is given as 60 ohms. See, here in this parallel network, in parallel network, What happens? Current division will take place. Current division will take place. But voltage is a constant. Voltage is constant across each and every element. Okay, here as it is an RL parallel network, as it is an RL parallel network. The inductive current is imaginary. So, the inductive current in the sense IL is imaginary. Okay. So, the real part of complex current expression. What is the real part of this is the complex current definitely. So, the real part is the resistive current. What is the real part? Real part is IR and IL is the imaginary part. Okay, here. Now, in the given problem, what we have to find? We have to find the total impedance and line current in the circuit. So, initially, what we will do is, we will find the current flowing through the resistance and current flowing through the inductance. See, see IR is the current flowing through the resistance. IR is given by V by R. I is equal to V by R. So, what is the voltage flowing 40 at an angle 0 degrees by resistance is 100 ohms which is equal to 0.4 amperes. It is very simple calculation. Similarly, IL. IL is equal to V by XL, inductive reactance. V is 40 at an angle 0 degrees and XL is 60 at an angle 90 degrees. Why we have taken 90 degrees angle? In case of inductor, in case of inductor, the current lags the applied voltage, lags the applied voltage by 90 degrees. Okay, that is the reason why we have taken 60 at an angle 90 degrees, which is equal to 0.66 at an angle minus 90 degrees. Okay, now what is the total current I? I is equal to 0.4 is the real value, is the real part of total current. 0.4 minus J 0 0.66 minus J 0 0.66. Okay, so how can we express this one in polar form? In polar form, it is... I is equal to 0.77 at an angle 
minus 58.78 degrees in polar form. This is the total curve. Okay. And now, the total impedance yet in the circuit is, what is the total impedance? Impedance is defined as the ratio of voltage to current. Ratio of voltage to current. It is, what is voltage? 40 at an angle 0 degrees. And what is current? It is 0.77 at an angle minus 58.78 degrees. Okay. So, by calculating this one, we will get Z is equal to 51.9 at an angle 58.78 degree ohms. Okay. So, in the question, it was asked to find, it was asked to find the total impedance. Okay. So, the total impedance Z is 51.9, 51.9 at an angle 58.78 degrees. And what is line current? What is the line current? I is equal to 0.77 at an angle minus 58.78 degrees. And here IR is the current flowing through the resistance that is 0.4 amperes. IL is the current flowing through the inductor that is 0.66 amperes. Okay. Thank you.